My name's Davida Shinsky, and the title of this program is Live Without Limits, Reach Personal Success on a Daily Basis. And let me give you a little bit of history about Live Without Limits. Live Without Limits podcast is a powerful platform transcending boundaries of personal growth and mental fortitude. As an eminent name in the personal success podcast sphere, we distill complex issues surrounding personal development, psychology, and mental health, relationships, and personal growth in a compelling dialogue format. Our nuanced approach fosters insightful conversations on relationships, offering pragmatic advice to navigate challenging waters we stand as a trusted beacon to break free from the chains of limiting beliefs, actively promoting a healthier you, a stronger you. With every episode, we pioneer empowering mental transformations, propelling listeners on their individual success trajectories, engaging specialists, across various fields of, to reinforce our commitment towards holistic well-being, ensuring wide-ranging perspectives and innovative strategies, relatable narrations coupled with science-backed insights becomes the catalyst for meaningful change. Live without limits, reach personal success on a daily basis is unraveling the astonishing potential within you, one podcast at a time. So how to identify gaslighting in relationships and how you can deal with it. Gaslighting is a major red flag in a relationship, yet it's not always obvious to identify. It is a form of emotional abuse in which one partner manipulates or demoralizes the other partner's reality by forcing them to question their feelings, memories, thoughts, and experiences. And this is something that I have experienced personally from my mother and a sister who's actually embezzling money from me because she wants to say that my mother set up the investments instead of my father so that she can justify that because my mother left her in charge that she's entitled to do what she does. A victim of gaslighting can be pushed to the point where they begin to question their own sanity, identity, as well as what is real within the world. What does gaslighting look like? Ultimately, Gaslighting can have negative, even destructive effects on the person's self-esteem, emotions, and sense of perception. Gaslighting with a partner usually occurs when a couple is struggling with the power dynamic and often becomes a normalized part of the relationship. Often it is difficult for the victim to realize they are being gaslighted, despite how apparent it may be to onlookers. The saying, love is blind, can ring true, leading you to overlook and deny the abuse. Nobody wants to admit that their relationship is not perfect. So, one can habitually choose to ignore the harmful aspects. Nonetheless, you must step back and view your relationship in the same way as an outsider would and truthfully analyze your relationship to see if you are a victim of gaslighting. So five common steps to gaslighting. The steps belong can help you identify gaslighting. Your partner makes you think you're crazy. 
when you confront them about things that are bothering you, when you stick up for yourself and do not fall victim to their imagining things game. They try to damage your self-esteem by throwing your insecurities and flaws in your face. My sister does this continually all the time. Guilt tripping is used by your partner in an attempt to invalidate your feelings and concerns. You begin to doubt yourself. Despite knowing what is real, you succumb to your partner's abuse and believe their words. Now that you are able to better spot gaslighting, it is crucial that you are familiar with the ways to identify getting back control. Let us be clear here. Gaslighting is a form of emotional abuse. You need to recognize that if you confront someone about this, you could be putting yourself in potentially volatile or dangerous situation. So four ways to respond to gaslighting. Let me tell you this much. I remember many, many, many years ago, my mother pulled something like this on me, and she was very good at emotionally abusing it because she grew up in a home where she was emotionally abused. But the thing is, I hadn't talked to her in several years, and she wanted to get in touch with me. And then I wrote her a letter, and I told her how I felt about what happened. And then when I saw it, she goes, how can you say that? It's like, this is what I was feeling. It's like she was in such denial that she ever did any of the things that she did that she, she couldn't and wouldn't admit it. Four ways to respond to gaslighting. Write everything down. By writing down all your thoughts, feelings, and concerns, you are experiencing that you are validating and making them evident. This is beneficial because it allows you to explain in a calm and reasonable manner exactly when you started feeling that way and why. You can also look back and see how things have progressed over time. Writing everything down will permit you to address the situation with as little emotion as possible. Emotions open the door for manipulation. Tell others your reality. Conversing with others is known to be a stress relieving and freeing activity. While it is beneficial to talk to your family and friends about your worries, it may be more helpful to discuss your appreciation with an unbiased party they will serve as a fresh pair of ears, as somebody who can give you impartial advice. Seeking professional help from a therapist might prove to be a solid investment as well. You're familiar with gaslighting techniques and can help you address it. Now, my background is mental health and psychology, and I've trained in the field, and I've talked about it. And most of my friends are in the industry. And many of them have told me many a time, get a lawyer, go after them, do what you have to do to get control of your life. Sometimes that's the best way to do it. The only reason I hesitated was because it's, we're only three sisters. And, you know, and I felt like, I couldn't just alienate from, from both. But at this point, I began to realize we have no relationship anyway, other than on their terms and their terms is abuse. I don't want it in my life anymore. So I'm talking to a lawyer and I'm going after what's mine and making sure that she gets what she deserves. Give yourself some space. Leaving your situation for a while and getting some fresh air can oftentimes bring you back with a new perspective. In 
any relationship, taking time to reconnect and find yourself can be therapeutic and much needed, but especially in negative ones. If you're not able to physically leave, especially if you are in the middle of an argument or a conversation where gaslighting occurs, staying calm can help you. You can stop and take some grounding, deep breaths for a few seconds. Close your eyes and repeat an empowering mantra or affirmation. Look at a photo of something or someone that reminds you to keep your head clear. And this is where the laws of attraction is so important because it helps you to learn affirmations and reprogram your thinking because people who are negative, who are gaslighting you, will only keep doing it. And what happens is you've heard it so often that you internalize it and you keep hearing it and hearing it in your head because it keeps replaying. And eventually you have to retrain those thoughts to get rid of those negative thoughts. Whether you're taking actual physical space on the situation by spending time alone to reflect or in the moment where you guard your headspace from intruding thoughts or commitments, it can help you stay in control and keep the emotions out. Trust yourself. If you take home one thing from this presentation, let it be this. Believe in and trust yourself. If you're thinking, they make me feel crazy, Trust your gut feeling, gaslighting as a type of manipulation that feeds off of thoughts and emotions is aimed at transferring power from you to them. The best thing that you can do is remind yourself that you are strong and confident and that you will not allow yourself to be controlled by another individual, stand in your power and address any attempts at gaslighting. Keep your conviction strong and remember that you have worth. If you think someone is trying to manipulate you, it's worth looking into and reflecting on even if it doesn't turn out to be gaslighting, you know yourself best and should listen to any concerns that pop up. If you deal with gaslighting, reach out for help. Well, the unfortunate truth is that gaslighting has become a common topic when talking about relationships today. The common news is that the signs are spot are online spotable. If you identify with the above steps, take action to prevent it. Yet, you are still the victim of gaslighting. Do not be afraid to reach out and ask for professional help. It is important to recognize and tackle this abuse as early as possible. So you save yourself from detrimental effects that it will eventually bring. So long as you stay true to and value yourself, you will not fall ill to manipulation. Never forget that you matter. Your thoughts and feelings are valid. This is your life. Never let anyone try to tell you otherwise. If you do, I hope you have the strength to stick up for yourself and walk away, taking this newfound knowledge with you to your next relationship. You are not responsible nor to blame for your partner's gaslighting behaviors. And it's most important that you know that. And 
the last thing that I'm going to say about it is this. I have a sister that's 70, 74, and she has been gaslighted and abused so much. That she, and because she's deaf and because her personality is to be more the peacemaker, what's happened is she's totally bought into what they've told her over the years to the point that she is so helpless today. She can't even take care of herself because every time she tried to take care of herself, what did they do? They broke everything of hers. They tore her down mentally and she just didn't know how to deal with it. So it's up to you to find a way to take back control of your life.